the tradition in most uh, commercial films, in television very much, is that you uh, set up a shot with the actors and the actors' movements, and then you light up the face and the body. You mold the face, you know. By doing this, uh, uh, what you do is to place the actor in a space, you know, so that the image is like a stage image in which the actor is placed. But you actually light up the location first, and then you see what kind of accidents are occurring, you know. If you move a character, what kinds of shadows are being created? Because there is a certain random quality about light on faces, you know. They are not molded in the way of a key light and a fill light and a background light, you know. And uh, this is an amazing fact about Gurudat. So that what you get is an entire image. You don't know. The way the music goes, in terms of its notation, you will find that it steps up, up, up. It's, it's very beautiful. There is in these movements a feeling of elevation and projection. And I think this links up very nicely with a very broad theme that he had for Gagas Kipul and for his other films also. Of, uh, of uh, one couldn't call it a theme. It's more like uh, an entire preoccupation of the hope of love and the anger that, of course, he directed at progressive social morality and the social condition which didn't permit this hope. Chari, you? So if this hope. Which I think that Gagas Kipul was a revelation of things that were to come. I suspect that what he had in mind was the market that was developing at that time in India with the emergence of stars. Everybody realized that uh, the star was the horse you know, in the races and uh, it, everything centered on the star. You know. And uh, no longer the director was allowed to do what he wanted to do and in the time he wanted to do. For example, take 20 takes and spend a whole day trying to think of how he would conceive the scene. Gurudat himself had no reason to be anxious about uh, the rejection of a film because throughout his career, whether they were comedies or tragedies, he made more or less successful films. But he didn't realize that the film that he was making was going to be itself a big disaster. The greatest contribution that I think he made to Bombay films was that he began to stress the roles played by women. You look at the entire cinema of his contemporaries, and even now, majority of it, you will find that the women have always played the heroine's second role, in a sense, you know. But with Gurudat in Bombay, the roles of women are very important.